We're in the hydraulic workshop in Tyne Metropolitan College and today we're going to have a look at manufacturing a piece of pipework to fit in between connection C14 and C16. If we have a look at the hydraulic test rig we can locate the section of pipework that we're going to produce we can locate the piece of pipework between the manifolds shown. The pipework has got three 90 degree bends in, so we're going to have a look at the process of bending the hydraulic pipe into this shape. Before starting work, it's essentially have your overalls on, safety boots, and have applied barrier cream. To complete this task, you'll need the following equipment. You'll need one standard operation procedure to help you complete the task. You'll need one length of 10S hydraulic pipe, 650mm long, two 10mm compression nuts, two 10mm olives, a hydraulic pipe cutter, tape measure, a pencil, hydraulic pipe bender and 10mm foam and die and one flat file. To begin with, we're going to take the form and die and secure it in the vise. Then we'll take the hydraulic pipe and we need to measure 120mm from one end and mark that position with a pencil. We'll fit the hydraulic pipe into the pipe bending equipment so that the line we marked off 120mm from one end of the pipe is aligned with the pop mark on the form and die and the pop mark on the bending equipment. Next we attach the pipe bend and handle. And then force the handle around, bending the pipe to 90 degrees. We should check our bend using the engineer's square. So we place the engineer's square on the pipe and we check that the angle is at 90 degrees. Next, we remove the pipe bend and grip. And fit our pipe into the, into the pipe bend and jig. And we make sure the pipe is pushed as close to the form and die as possible. Then once again, Attach the pipe bending lever and bend to 90 degrees. After completing the bend, we should once again check that everything's square using our engineer's square. If there's any adjustments to be made, we can make minor adjustments using the vise. So we should grip the pipe in the vise and make minor adjustments by gently manipulating the pipe into shape. Next, we place the pipe bending equipment into the vise and secure it in place. We will also need to reposition the pipe bending grip. We should now position the pipe in the bending jig with the bent end to the right of the pipe bending jig. We should take care 
to set the, the bench surface so it is parallel with the surface of the bench. We should then measure We should then measure from the outside radius of the pipe bend and jig to the outside diameter of the pipe and ensure this distance is 330 millimeters. Once this is set, we can attach the pipe bend and handle. And bend the final bend around 90 degrees. Once again, we use the engineer's square to check this bend is at 90 degrees. Next we connect the bent pipe into the vise with the 120mm end pointing towards the top. So we should take a measurement from the outside of the pipe bend. We should measure 60mm then once again scribe a line. We now want to use the pipe bender to trim the pipe bend off to the length. The pipe bender is adjustable, so we turn the black knob and that will increase the dimension for the pipe. We then attach it to the pipe and tighten the black knob until the blade comes into contact with the pipe. We then begin to rotate the blade. Gradually tightening the pressure every couple of turns. We continue to do this until the pipe cutter is all the way through the pipe. It's important that there is no rags left on the bore of the pipe. To do this the pipe cutter is fitted with a deburring tool. We use the pointy edge of this deburring tool in the bore of the pipe and remove any rags that may be present after the cutting is taking place. At this point we should try the 10mm olive onto the pipe to make sure it will fit and also the 10mm nut. Next we can remove the pipe from the, the vise and turn the bend pipe over. This time we're going to take a measurement again from the outside of the pipe and measure it to 115 millimeters and then once again we'll mark this on our pipe. We'll cut this end of the pipe and deburr the pipe in exactly the same way as we cut the other end.
Next, we should try our bent pipe into our pipe manifold to make sure it fits. If it fits, we can attach a compression nut and an olive to each end of the pipe. We then reattach our bent pipe to the manifold and begin tightening the compression nuts onto the 90 degree elbows. Right, the final step then will be to tighten the compression nuts. We're going to make sure the pipe is pushed completely in and then tighten these nuts as tight as we can so the compressor all over the pipe. Now we'll do the same with the top compression nut. And that's it, job complete.